Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel, where legends come to life. Today, we embark on a journey through time to unveil the mysteries of the oldest mythical creatures known to humanity. From the majestic Nian of ancient China to the enigmatic Sphinx of Egypt, join us as we explore the folklore that has captivated civilizations for centuries. Get ready to delve into the realms of imagination and folklore like never before. Let us begin. Nian. Among these creatures, Nian holds a unique position as one of the oldest and most intriguing figures in mythology. Nian is a mythical creature originating from Chinese folklore, and its origins can be traced back thousands of years. In this comprehensive exploration, we will delve into the rich history, characteristics, symbolism, and cultural significance of Nian, shedding light on the enduring legacy of this ancient mythical creature. Historical Origins The origins of Nian can be found in ancient Chinese mythology, specifically within the realm of Lunar New Year traditions. The term Nian itself translates to year in Mandarin Chinese and the creature is closely associated with the celebration of the Lunar New Year. While the exact origins of Nian are shrouded in the mists of time, it is believed that the mythical creature emerged during the Shang Dynasty, 1600 to 1046 BCE, or even earlier. Physical Characteristics Nian is often depicted as a fearsome and powerful creature, combining elements of various animals. It is commonly portrayed as a lion-like beast with a long, scaly body covered in thick, mottled skin. Nian possesses sharp fangs, powerful claws, and large, bulging eyes that radiate a fiery glow. Most notably, Nian is said to have an exceptionally long and slender horn protruding from its forehead, symbolizing its divine and otherworldly nature. Symbolism and Legends Lunar New Year Connection Nian's association with the Lunar New Year is deeply ingrained in Chinese culture. According to legend, Nian would emerge from its hiding place in the mountains on the eve of the Lunar New Year to terrorize villages and prey upon the inhabitants. The creature was believed to have an insatiable appetite for livestock, crops, and even people. This tradition led to the development of various customs and rituals aimed at warding off Nian's malevolent influence and ensuring good fortune for the coming year. Symbol of Fear and Transformation The fearsome nature of Nian serves as a symbolic representation of the hardships and challenges faced by ancient Chinese communities. Nian's destructive tendencies embody natural disasters, such as droughts, floods, and famines, which pose significant threats to agricultural societies. By overcoming and subduing Nian, people sought to conquer their fears and usher in a new year of prosperity, harmony, and renewal. Cultural Significance Nian's significance extends beyond its association with the Lunar New Year. The mythical creature has become deeply embedded in Chinese culture, serving as a symbol of resilience, courage, and the ability to overcome adversity. Nian's portrayal in various forms of artistic expression, including paintings, sculptures, and traditional performances such as lion dances, highlights its enduring cultural importance. Legends and Rituals The Old Man's Advice One popular legend recounts the story of a wise old man who offered advice to a village troubled by Nian's depredations. The old man advised the villagers to scare off Nian by using loud noises, bright lights, and the color red, which the creature was believed to despise. Following the old man's instructions, the villagers successfully frightened Nian away, thus initiating the tradition of using firecrackers, lanterns, and red decorations during Lunar New Year celebrations. Lion Dance the Lion Dance is a quintessential component of Lunar New Year festivities and is closely associated with Nian. The dance involves performers dressed in lion costumes, mimicking the movements of the creature. 
The rhythmic beating of drums, clashing cymbals, and acrobatic displays symbolize the triumph over Nyin and the ushering in of good fortune. The lion dance embodies the spirit of unity, bravery, and the collective effort required to overcome challenges, red envelopes, and fireworks. During the Lunar New Year, it is customary to exchange red envelopes containing monetary gifts as a symbol of good luck and prosperity. This tradition is believed to have originated from the practice of giving offerings to appease Nian. Additionally, the tradition of setting off fireworks and firecrackers during the New Year celebrations serves the dual purpose of scaring away evil spirits and echoing the loud noises used to frighten Nian. Nian in contemporary culture. Despite its ancient origins, Nian continues to hold a prominent place in contemporary Chinese culture. The creature's enduring presence can be observed in various forms, including literature, films, and art. Nian often appears as a character in children's books, where it is portrayed in a more benevolent light, emphasizing the lessons of courage, unity, and the triumph of good over evil. Nian's influence beyond China. In recent years, Nian's legend and symbolism have transcended geographical boundaries and gained recognition and popularity beyond China. With the globalization of Chinese culture and the increasing interest in mythology worldwide, Nian has become a subject of fascination for people of diverse backgrounds. Its iconic appearance and compelling narrative have made it a favorite subject for artists, writers, and filmmakers seeking to explore the richness of Chinese mythology. The Naga The Naga is a creature deeply rooted in the mythologies of various civilizations, spanning across different continents and cultures. Its origins can be traced back thousands of years, making it one of the oldest mythical creatures known to mankind. In this extensive exploration, we will delve into the multifaceted nature of the Naga, examining its origins, characteristics, cultural significance, and the diverse roles it has played in various mythologies. Origins of the Naga The term Naga finds its roots in ancient Sanskrit, an Indo-Aryan language originating in the Indian subcontinent. In Sanskrit, Naga translates to serpent or snake. It is important to note that the Naga is not limited to a single cultural context, but rather, it permeates the mythologies of numerous civilizations. The earliest references to the Naga can be found in ancient Indian texts, such as the Vedas and the Puranas. In Hindu mythology, the Naga is believed to be a divine creature associated with water, fertility, and protection. They are often depicted as semi-divine beings with human torsos and serpent tails, or as fully serpentine creatures with multiple heads. The Nagas are considered to be guardians of sacred places, rivers, and treasures. Characteristics of the Naga The Naga possesses a distinctive set of characteristics that contribute to its mystical allure. While the depictions may vary across cultures, certain traits remain consistent. The Naga is predominantly portrayed as a serpentine being with a long, coiling body. It is often depicted with multiple heads, symbolizing wisdom and power. The creature's scales shimmer in brilliant hues, accentuating its magical nature. In many mythologies, the Naga is associated with water, residing in rivers, lakes, and oceans. This connection to water further emphasizes its role as a guardian of natural resources and fertility. The Naga's ability to control water is often attributed to its divine powers, making it a formidable force to be reckoned with. Cultural Significance of the Naga Indian Mythology In Indian mythology, the Nagas hold a significant place. They are considered both divine and semi-divine beings, often associated with powerful deities. For instance, in Hinduism, Lord Vishnu is depicted reclining on the coiled body of the thousand-headed serpent, Shishanaga. The Nagas are revered as protectors 
and are worshipped during festivals like Naga Panchami. Southeast Asian Mythology The influence of the Naga extends beyond the borders of India, reaching Southeast Asian cultures. In countries such as Cambodia, Laos, and Thailand, Nagas are revered as water deities. They are believed to control rain and bring prosperity. The iconic Naga statues adorning temples, bridges, and other structures in these regions reflect the cultural significance and deep-rooted belief in these mythical creatures. Chinese Mythology In Chinese mythology, the Naga is known as the Long or the Dragon. Unlike the Western perception of dragons as malevolent creatures, the Chinese dragon is revered as a celestial being associated with power, wisdom, and good fortune. The Chinese dragon shares similarities with the Naga, emphasizing the intermingling of cultures and the universal appeal of serpentine creatures throughout history. Other Cultures The Naga's influence can also be traced to other cultures and mythologies. In ancient Mesopotamia, the Sumerian god Enki was often depicted as a serpent or dragon-like being, highlighting the cross-cultural presence of serpentine creatures. Similarly, in Mesoamerican civilizations, such as the Mayans and Aztecs, feathered serpents like Quetzalcoatl held significant religious and cultural importance. Roles of the Naga in Mythology Protectors and Guardians one of the primary roles attributed to the Naga across various mythologies is that of a protector and guardian. They are believed to safeguard sacred places, treasures, and natural resources. In Hindu mythology, Nagas are associated with the divine serpent Vasuki, who plays a crucial role in the churning of the cosmic ocean, symbolizing the cycle of creation and destruction. Divine Beings the Nagas are often regarded as divine beings, associated with gods and goddesses in multiple mythologies. In addition to Lord Vishnu's connection with Shishanaga, the Nagas in Buddhist mythology are believed to be the guardians of the Buddha and his teachings. They are depicted as enlightened beings who have attained spiritual enlightenment through their association with Buddhism. Symbolism of Power and Wisdom the Naga's multiple heads and serpentine forms symbolize power, wisdom, and divine knowledge. The ability to control water and navigate through the depths of the earth represents the Naga's mastery over natural forces. In many mythologies, individuals who possess the ability to communicate with or control Nagas are regarded as wise and powerful figures. Associations with creation and fertility the Naga's connection to water and its role as a guardian of rivers and water bodies aligns it with the concept of creation and fertility. Water is often seen as a life-giving force, and the Naga's association with water signifies its role in sustaining life and promoting fertility in nature. Transformation and Shapeshifting The Naga is known for its ability to transform and shapeshift, taking on various forms. This attribute adds to its mystique and highlights its connection to the supernatural realm. The Naga's transformative abilities allow it to move seamlessly between the human and serpent worlds, further blurring the boundaries between reality and myth. Interpretations and Symbolism Duality and Balance The presence of the Naga in various mythologies reflects the concept of duality and balance. The serpentine creature embodies both the earthly and the divine, the material and the spiritual. It represents the harmony and interconnectedness of opposing forces, such as creation and destruction, light and darkness, and order and chaos. Spiritual Enlightenment The Naga's association with wisdom, knowledge, and spiritual enlightenment aligns it with the pursuit of higher consciousness. In many mythologies, encountering or communing with the Naga is seen as a transformative experience that leads to enlightenment and self-realization. The Naga serves as a guide and mentor on the path to spiritual awakening. Nature and Ecology The Naga's close association with water 
and its role as a guardian of natural resources underscores its connection to nature and the environment. In a world where the importance of ecological balance is increasingly recognized, the Naga's representation serves as a reminder of the need to protect and preserve our natural surroundings. The Menehune Among the oldest and most intriguing mythical creatures are the Menehune, an enigmatic race deeply rooted in Hawaiian mythology. Origins of Hawaiian Mythology Before delving into the ancient mythical creatures themselves, it is essential to understand the origins of Hawaiian mythology. The Polynesians, who settled in the Hawaiian Islands around 1,500 years ago, brought with them a rich tapestry of oral traditions, folklore, and spiritual beliefs. These traditions formed the foundation of Hawaiian mythology, providing a framework for understanding the world and the supernatural entities that inhabited it. The Menehune, also known as the Little People or People Before the Hawaiians, are a race of mythical beings deeply rooted in Hawaiian folklore. According to legend, the Menehune were skilled craftsmen, builders, and guardians of the land. They were often described as small in stature, mischievous, and elusive. The Menehune were believed to have inhabited the Hawaiian Islands long before the arrival of the Polynesians, shaping the landscape and leaving behind impressive structures that continue to captivate the imagination. Historical Context and Cultural Significance To fully appreciate the significance of the Menehune within Hawaiian culture, it is crucial to consider the historical context in which they emerged. The Menehune legends were shaped by the early Polynesian settlers who sought to make sense of their new surroundings. These mythical beings became a way to explain the existence of ancient structures, such as fish ponds, temples, and fortifications, which the settlers discovered upon their arrival. The Menehune also served as a reminder of the importance of harmony with nature and the land. Hawaiians held deep reverence for the environment, and the Menehune were seen as protectors of the natural world. Their stories reinforced the belief that it was essential to live in harmony with nature and respect the land's resources. Appearance and Characteristics of the Menehune Descriptions of the Menehune's appearance and characteristics vary across different legends and accounts. However, there are several common attributes associated with these mythical beings. The Menehune are often depicted as small in stature, ranging from a few inches to three feet tall. They were said to have large heads, distinct facial features, and muscular bodies. The Menehune were known for their exceptional strength, agility, and craftsmanship. They possessed an extraordinary ability to shape stone and wood, crafting intricate tools, structures, and canoes. Despite their small size, they were believed to possess supernatural powers, enabling them to perform feats beyond human capabilities. Legends and Stories Surrounding the Menehune The folklore surrounding the Menehune is rich and diverse, with numerous legends woven into the fabric of Hawaiian mythology. These tales often highlight the Menehune's mischievous nature and their interactions with humans. One popular legend tells the story of the Menehune and the construction of the Ailcoco fish pond on the island of Kauai. According to the tale, the Menehune worked tirelessly through the night, completing the fish pond before sunrise. When a curious observer disrupted their work, the Menehune vanished, leaving only their unfinished tools behind. Today, the Ailcoco fish pond stands as a testament to the Menehune's craftsmanship. Another legend recounts the tale of the Menehune and the Kikiola ditch on Kauai. The Menehune were said to have constructed a complex irrigation system overnight, astonishing the local inhabitants. Despite attempts to uncover the secret of their incredible speed and skill, the Menehune remained elusive, disappearing before anyone could catch a glimpse of them. Menehune 
guardians of nature and master craftsmen. Beyond their mischievous nature, the Menehune were revered as guardians of nature and skilled craftsmen. They were believed to have a deep connection with the land, forests, and waterways of the Hawaiian Islands. The Menehune were guardians of the natural world, ensuring its balance and protecting it from harm. They were known to punish those who disrespectfully exploited the land or its resources. In addition to their role as guardians, the Menehune were renowned for their exceptional craftsmanship. They were master builders, constructing impressive structures and intricate tools using their supernatural abilities. The Menehune were said to have built fish ponds, temples, roads, and other architectural marvels across the islands. Their craftsmanship was unmatched, and their creations continue to awe and inspire admiration to this day. Menehune Encounters and Sightings Throughout history, there have been numerous accounts of Menehune encounters and sightings. These encounters often involve people stumbling upon their works or catching glimpses of the elusive beings themselves. However, it is important to note that the authenticity of these accounts is difficult to ascertain, and many may be attributed to folklore and imagination. One famous sighting of the Menehune occurred in the early 19th century when a British sailor named Captain Vancouver reported an encounter with a group of Menehune on the island of Kauai. According to his account, he witnessed a group of small, agile beings working together to construct a fish pond. However, upon closer inspection, the Menehune vanished before his eyes, leaving behind only their tools. The Decline of the Menehune As time passed and the influence of Western culture grew in Hawaii, the belief in the Menehune gradually declined. The spread of Christianity and the arrival of Western settlers brought with them new beliefs and explanations for the ancient structures attributed to the Menehune. These structures were often reinterpreted as the work of ancient Polynesians or dismissed as natural formations. Furthermore, the Menehune legends faced skepticism and scrutiny from skeptical scholars and historians. Some dismissed the Menehune as mere folklore or legends without any basis in reality. As a result, the belief in the Menehune as real beings diminished over time, and they became relegated to the realm of myth and imagination. The Legacy of the Menehune Despite the decline in belief, the Menehune's legacy continues to captivate the imagination of people in Hawaii and beyond. They remain an integral part of Hawaiian folklore, representing the connection between humanity and the natural world. The Menehune serve as a reminder of the importance of environmental stewardship, harmony with nature, and the preservation of cultural heritage. Today, the Menehune are celebrated in various forms of art, literature, and popular culture. They have become a symbol of Hawaiian identity and a source of inspiration for local artists, storytellers, and musicians. The Menehune's reputation as skilled craftsmen and guardians of nature has made them a beloved and enduring figure in Hawaiian mythology. Sapakli Sapakli is a fascinating and enigmatic creature originating from ancient Mesoamerican mythology, origins, and mythological context. To understand Sapakli, we must first examine its historical and cultural context. Sapakli emerges from the mythology of the ancient Mesoamerican civilizations, particularly the Aztecs and their predecessors, such as the Olmec and Maya. These civilizations thrived in the region that encompasses present-day Mexico and parts of Central America. The mythology of these societies was deeply intertwined with their religious, social, and cosmological beliefs. The earliest references to Sepakli can be found in the mythological creation narratives of Mesoamerica. These narratives depict the origin of the world and the emergence of life. According to Mesoamerican cosmogony, 
The world underwent several cycles of creation and destruction, each marked by cataclysmic events and the emergence of new beings. Sapakli played a pivotal role in the first cycle of creation, known as the Son of the Earthquake. Characteristics and Physical Description Sapakli is described as a fearsome and primordial creature, often depicted as a hybrid between a crocodile and a fish. Its appearance embodies a combination of terrestrial and aquatic features, signifying its connection to both land and water. The physical description of Sapakli varies across different representations and artistic interpretations, but certain characteristics remain consistent. Typically, Sapakli is portrayed as a massive creature with an elongated body covered in scales or a rough, armored skin. Its jaws are adorned with rows of sharp teeth, emphasizing its predatory nature. Some depictions feature additional elements, such as multiple heads, claws, or spines, contributing to the creature's monstrous and otherworldly appearance. Symbolism and Mythological Significance Sapakli holds profound symbolic significance within Mesoamerican mythology. Its multifaceted symbolism encompasses various aspects of life, death, creation, and destruction. To grasp the true meaning of Sapakli, we must explore its symbolism in different contexts. Creation and Primordial Chaos In Mesoamerican creation myths, Sapakli represents the primordial chaos that preceded the formation of the world. It personifies the chaotic and formless state from which all existence emerged. The creature's monstrous and unpredictable nature embodies the turbulent forces that existed before the establishment of order and stability, sacrifice and nourishment. Sapakli's association with sacrifice and nourishment is rooted in its role in the creation narrative. In some versions of the myth, the gods Quetzalcoatl and Tezcatlipoca descended into the primeval waters and tore Sapakli apart, separating its body to create the heavens and the earth. The dismemberment of Sapakli symbolizes the sacrificial act required to bring order and balance to the cosmos. It also represents the notion that life springs forth from death and that destruction is an integral part of creation. Furthermore, Sapakli's flesh and body parts were believed to possess nourishing and transformative properties. The gods used various parts of the creature's body to shape and populate the newly created world. This association connects Sapakli to the concept of cyclical regeneration and the transformative power inherent in sacrifice. Cosmic Order and Dualism Sapakli's existence within the Mesoamerican mythological framework reflects the concept of dualism prevalent in the cosmologies of these ancient civilizations. The creature embodies the duality of opposing forces, such as chaos and order, life and death, creation and destruction. Its presence serves as a reminder of the delicate balance required to maintain cosmic order. Sapakli represents the chaotic forces that must be tamed and harmonized for the world to function in a balanced and orderly manner. Cultural Significance and Legacy Sapakli's enduring presence in Mesoamerican mythology highlights its cultural significance and enduring legacy. The mythology of ancient civilizations played a fundamental role in shaping their worldview, religious practices, and societal structures. Sapakli, as the oldest mythical creature of mythology, left a profound imprint on the collective consciousness of these civilizations. Ritual and Religious Practices The symbolism and narrative surrounding Sapakli influenced religious rituals and ceremonies in Mesoamerican societies. The creature's association with sacrifice and creation led to its incorporation into various religious practices. Rituals involving offerings and sacrifices were conducted to honor and appease the forces represented by Sapakli. These rituals played a crucial role in maintaining the cosmic balance and ensuring the well-being of the community. 
art and iconography. Sapakli's distinct physical attributes and symbolism made it a popular subject in Mesoamerican art and iconography. The creature's fearsome appearance and its connection to creation and chaos made it a captivating motif in sculptures, pottery, murals, and other artistic representations. These artistic depictions not only served as a visual expression of mythological narratives, but also played a role in reinforcing cultural beliefs and values. Cultural Identity and Worldview The presence of Sapakli in Mesoamerican mythology contributed to the formation of cultural identity and worldview. The mythological narratives surrounding the creature provided a framework for understanding the origins of the world and humanity. Sapakli's symbolism evoked a sense of awe, fear, and reverence, shaping the way ancient Mesoamerican societies perceive their place in the cosmos. The creature's existence within the mythological realm reinforced the interconnectedness of various aspects of life and the cyclical nature of existence. Sapakli in Modern Context Although the civilizations that worshipped Sapakli have long vanished, the legacy of this mythical creature continues to resonate in modern times. The exploration and study of ancient mythologies, including Mesoamerican mythology, have gained prominence, leading to a renewed interest in creatures like Sapakli. Modern scholars and enthusiasts delve into the rich symbolism and cultural significance of these mythical beings, shedding light on their relevance in contemporary society. Furthermore, Sapakli's influence extends beyond academic and cultural spheres. The creature's portrayal and references can be found in various forms of media, including literature, film, and visual arts. Its monstrous and awe-inspiring features make it a compelling subject for creative reinterpretations and adaptations. Simamuka Simamuka is among these creatures. Simamuka stands as one of the oldest and most enigmatic beings in mythology. Origins of Simamuka the origins of Simamuka can be traced back to ancient civilizations that thrived in regions such as Mesopotamia, Egypt, and the Indus Valley. The earliest references to Simamuka can be found in ancient Sumerian and Babylonian texts, where it appears as a lion-headed deity associated with protection and power. In these early depictions, Simamuka is often depicted as a fierce and majestic creature combining the regal qualities of a lion with the wisdom and divinity of the gods. Characteristics of Simamuka Physical Appearance Simamuka is commonly portrayed as a creature with the head of a lion or lioness in the body of a human. The lion's head symbolizes strength, courage, and authority, while the human body represents intelligence and spirituality. This hybrid form reflects the balance between animalistic instincts and human consciousness that Simamuka embodies. Symbolism Simamuka embodies various symbolic representations, each contributing to its mythological significance. The lion's head represents power, protection, and dominance over the animal kingdom. It is a symbol of the fierce and primal forces of nature, and serves as a guardian against evil and chaos. The human body signifies intellect, wisdom, and spirituality, showcasing the creature's connection to the divine and its ability to bridge the gap between mortal and immortal realms. Mythological Roles Simamuka assumes different roles within mythology, often reflecting the cultural context in which it appears. In some mythologies, it serves as a protector deity, guarding sacred spaces and individuals from malevolent forces. In others, it serves as a divine messenger, carrying out the will of the gods and communicating with humans. Simamuka is also associated with wisdom and is often depicted as a companion or mount of gods and goddesses associated with knowledge and learning. Significance of Simamuka Simamuka holds immense spiritual significance within mythology. 
Its hybrid form represents the integration of the physical and spiritual aspects of existence. It embodies the idea that humans possess both animalistic instincts and divine potential. Simamukha serves as a reminder that individuals must find a balance between their primal desires and higher aspirations, seeking spiritual growth and enlightenment. Symbol of Power and Authority The lion-headed form of Simamukha symbolizes power, authority, and dominance. In ancient civilizations, lions were revered as royalty among animals and their association with Simamukha elevated its status as a divine and regal creature. Simamukha's representation as a powerful and fierce being resonated with leaders and rulers who sought its protection and guidance to assert their authority. Protective Guardian Simamukha often assumes the role of a protective guardian in mythological narratives. Its lion-headed form represents its ability to ward off evil and protect sacred spaces, individuals, and treasures. In this role, Simamukha is invoked through rituals, amulets, and symbols to safeguard against malevolent spirits and supernatural threats. Its presence instills a sense of security and assurance, reinforcing the belief in the creature's protective powers. Simamukha in various mythological traditions. Mesopotamian Mythology In ancient Mesopotamia, Simamukha appeared in the form of the deity Nurgal, the lion-headed god of the underworld. Nurgal was associated with war, pestilence, and destruction. Reflecting the dualistic nature of Simamukha as both a protector and a bringer of chaos, Nurgle's lion-headed form emphasized his ferocity and dominance in battle, while his association with the underworld highlighted his power over life and death. Egyptian Mythology In Egyptian mythology, Simamukha was associated with the goddess Sekhmet, a lioness-headed deity associated with war, healing, and protection. Sekhmet embodied the destructive aspects of Simamukha, representing the wrath of the sun god R.A. She was invoked to defend the pharaoh and punish those who threatened the order of the cosmos. Sekhmet's lioness form also symbolized her role as a guardian of the pharaoh's power and authority. Hindu Mythology In Hindu mythology, Simamukha is known as Narasimha, the fourth avatar of the god Vishnu. Narasimha is depicted as a half-lion half-human figure with a fierce countenance. He is considered a symbol of protection and the embodiment of divine justice. Narasimha is renowned for his role in slaying the demon king Hiranya Kashipu, who was granted a boon that made him virtually indestructible. Narasimha emerged as a result of a divine intervention to restore balance and eradicate evil. His lion-like form represents his ferocity in battle, while his human-like attributes signify his divine nature and wisdom. Tibetan Buddhism Simamukha holds a significant place in Tibetan Buddhism, particularly in the practice of Dzogchen, a path to spiritual realization. In this tradition, Simamukha is a wrathful deity associated with cutting through ignorance and delusion. She is depicted as a lion-headed female figure surrounded by flames, wielding a Vajra-handled knife that symbolizes the cutting of dualistic perceptions. Simamukha's presence in Dzogchen represents her role in dispelling obstacles and facilitating the realization of one's true nature. Vaikuntha Shatarmurti The Vaikuntha Shatarmurti is a mythical being that transcends time and space existing in the realms of gods and mortals alike. Its origins can be traced back to ancient Indian mythology, specifically within the context of Vaishnavism, one of the major traditions within Hinduism. This creature holds a significant place in mythology, symbolizing the interconnectedness of the divine and mortal realms. In this comprehensive exploration, we will delve into the origins characteristics, and symbolism surrounding the Vaikuntha Shatamurti. By understanding its place in mythology, 
we can gain insights into the human psyche, cultural beliefs, and the timeless quest for transcendence. Origins The Vaikuntha Shatamurti finds its roots in Vaishnavism, a tradition that worships Lord Vishnu as the supreme deity. Vaishnavism emerged in ancient India and is deeply ingrained in Hindu mythology. Within this tradition, the concept of the Shatamurti, or the four-faced form, holds great significance. The Shatamurti is associated with the divine aspects of Lord Vishnu, who is believed to manifest in four primary forms, Vasudeva, Sankarshana, Pradyumna, and Anirudh. These four aspects represent the cosmic elements of creation, preservation, transformation, and dissolution, respectively. The Vaikuntha Shatamurti, therefore, embodies the harmonious synthesis of these four divine aspects. Vaikuntha Shatamurti The Vaikuntha Shatamurti is a mythical being that transcends time and space, existing in the realms of gods and mortals alike. Its origins can be traced back to ancient Indian mythology, specifically within the context of Vaishnavism, one of the major traditions within Hinduism. This creature holds a significant place in mythology, symbolizing the interconnectedness of the divine and mortal realms. In this comprehensive exploration, we will delve into the origins, characteristics, and symbolism surrounding the Vaikuntha Shatamurti. By understanding its place in mythology, we can gain insights into the human psyche, cultural beliefs, and the timeless quest for transcendence. Origins The Vaikuntha Shatamurti finds its roots in Vaishnavism, a tradition that worships Lord Vishnu as the supreme deity. Vaishnavism emerged in ancient India and is deeply ingrained in Hindu mythology. Within this tradition, the concept of the Shatamurti, or the four-faced form, holds great significance. The Shatamurti is associated with the divine aspects of Lord Vishnu, who is believed to manifest in four primary forms, Vasudeva, Sankarshana, Pradyumna, and Anirudh. These four aspects represent the cosmic elements of creation, preservation, transformation, and dissolution, respectively. The Vaikuntha Shatamurti, therefore, embodies the harmonious synthesis of these four divine aspects, symbolism and significance. Unity of Cosmic Forces The Vaikuntha Shatamurti symbolizes the harmonious interplay of cosmic forces, creation, preservation, transformation, and dissolution. It illustrates the cyclical nature of existence, where life emerges, sustains, transforms, and ultimately dissolves back into the divine source. Omnipresence and Omniscience The four faces of the Vaikuntha Shatamurti, each facing a cardinal direction, represent its omnipresence, the ability to exist simultaneously in all realms and directions. It signifies the all-pervading nature of divinity, transcending time, space, and boundaries. Furthermore, the creature's radiant glow and divine attributes reflect its omniscience, representing the all-knowing nature of the Supreme Deity. Transcendence and Liberation The Vaikuntha Shatamurti embodies the ultimate goal of spiritual seekers, the attainment of liberation from the cycle of birth and death. Its face looking northward represents the path of transcendence, where the individual soul merges with the divine consciousness. The creature serves as a reminder of the impermanence of earthly existence and the eternal nature of the soul. Cosmic Balance and Harmony The four faces of the Vaikuntha Shatamurti symbolize the equilibrium and balance that govern the universe. Each aspect, creation, preservation, transformation, and dissolution, plays a vital role in maintaining cosmic harmony. It emphasizes the interconnectedness of all aspects of life, highlighting the intricate dance of cosmic forces, representation of time and eternity. 
The Vaikuntha Shatamurti's association with the discus, chakra, represents the eternal nature of time. It signifies the cyclical process of creation and dissolution, where time is an ever-flowing wheel. The creature reminds us of the transient nature of existence and the eternal presence of the divine amidst the changing tides of time. Cultural and philosophical significance. Devotion and worship. The Vaikuntha Shatamurti holds immense significance in Vaishnavism and is revered as an object of devotion and worship. Devotees seek blessings from this mythical creature to attain spiritual growth, transcendence, and liberation. Rituals, prayers, and ceremonies are performed to pay homage to its divine aspects and seek divine grace. Philosophical Concepts the Vaikuntha Shatamurti encompasses profound philosophical concepts within its symbolism. It represents the Advaita, non-dual, philosophy, emphasizing the oneness of the individual soul, Javatma, with the Supreme Soul, Paramatma. It teaches the path of self-realization and the realization of the divine essence within oneself, moral and ethical values. Mythical creatures like the Vaikuntha Shatamurti often serve as moral and ethical compasses within mythology. They embody virtues such as righteousness, protection, balance, and spiritual wisdom. Stories and narratives associated with these creatures impart valuable life lessons and guide individuals towards virtuous conduct. Artistic Expressions the Vaikuntha Shatamurti has been a subject of artistic exploration throughout history. Its iconic representation in sculptures, paintings, and other art forms showcases the creativity and skill of artists. These artistic expressions not only capture the physical attributes of the creature, but also convey its symbolic and spiritual significance. Legacy and Influence Influence on Religious Practices The Vaikuntha Shatamurti has left a lasting impact on religious practices, especially within Vaishnavism. Temples dedicated to Lord Vishnu often depict this mythical creature in various forms of art and sculptures. Devotees visit these temples to seek blessings and engage in rituals and ceremonies associated with the Vaikuntha Shatamurti. Literary and Mythological References The Vaikuntha Shatamurti is referenced in numerous ancient scriptures, epics, and mythological texts. It appears in the Puranas, the Mahabharata, and various other religious texts, where its symbolism and significance are discussed. These references contribute to the preservation and transmission of cultural and mythological knowledge. Influence on Spiritual Seekers The Vaikuntha Shatamurti continues to inspire spiritual seekers on their quest for enlightenment and transcendence. Its embodiment of cosmic principles, spiritual values, and the path of liberation serves as a guiding light for those seeking higher truths and deeper spiritual experiences. The Snow Lion the Snow Lion is believed to be the oldest mythical creature in Tibetan mythology, revered for its celestial nature and majestic presence. As a celestial being, it is associated with various spiritual and symbolic qualities, embodying the essence of courage, strength, purity, and wisdom. Origins and Cultural Significance the origins of the snow lion can be traced back to ancient Tibetan culture, where it emerged as a symbol of the country's majestic landscapes, particularly the snow-covered Himalayan mountains. Tibetans have long held a deep reverence for the snowy peaks, considering them sacred and associating them with the abode of gods and spirits. The snow lion, as a mythical creature, embodies the essence of these awe-inspiring mountains in the spiritual realm they represent. Culturally, the snow lion holds immense significance in Tibetan society. It is often depicted as a guardian and protector, associated with the welfare and prosperity of the Tibetan people. Its presence is believed to bring good fortune, ward off evil spirits, 
and ensure harmony and balance in the natural world. The snow lion is regarded as a celestial animal, existing in a realm beyond the ordinary, bridging the gap between the physical and spiritual dimensions. Appearance and Symbolism The snow lion is described as a magnificent and majestic creature, resembling an ordinary lion but with distinct features that reflect its celestial nature. It possesses a radiant white coat, which symbolizes purity and the snow-covered landscapes of Tibet. Its mane and tail are often depicted in vibrant colors such as gold, red, or blue, representing its connection to the heavens and the celestial realms. The snow lion's physical attributes convey a sense of power, grace, and fearlessness. It has a muscular body, sharp fangs, and claws, embodying strength and ferocity. However, despite its formidable appearance, the snow lion is known for its gentle and benevolent nature. Powers and Abilities The snow lion is believed to possess a range of extraordinary powers and abilities, which contribute to its role as a celestial guardian. It is said to have the ability to traverse both physical and spiritual realms effortlessly, serving as a bridge between the earthly and divine domains. Some of its notable powers include Weather manipulation The snow lion is associated with the elemental forces of nature, particularly snow and ice. It is believed to have the power to control and manipulate the weather, bringing snowfall, cool breezes, and gentle rains to nourish the land. Healing and Restoration The snow lion is known for its healing abilities. It has the power to restore balance and harmony to individuals and the natural environment. Its presence is believed to bring about physical and spiritual healing, dispelling ailments and promoting overall well-being. Wisdom and Intuition the snow lion is revered for its wisdom and intuitive nature. It is believed to possess deep knowledge of the spiritual realms and acts as a guide for those seeking enlightenment and inner peace. The snow lion's wisdom is often sought by spiritual practitioners and seekers of truth. Fearlessness and Protection The snow lion is a symbol of fearlessness and protection. It is regarded as a guardian spirit warding off negative energies and evil forces. Its presence instills courage and strength in individuals, helping them overcome obstacles and adversity. Mythological Stories and Folklore In Tibetan mythology, various stories and folklore are associated with the snow lion, highlighting its role as a celestial being and guardian. One popular tale tells of a snow lion who descended from the heavens to protect a group of nomads during a harsh winter. The snow lion led the nomads to a hidden valley where they found shelter and sustenance until the winter passed. This story illustrates the snow lion's benevolence and its role as a protector in times of need. Another legend speaks of the snow lion as a companion to enlightened beings and spiritual masters. It is said that when a great master attains enlightenment, the snow lion appears as a symbol of their spiritual accomplishment, exuding a radiant aura and providing guidance on the path of liberation. These stories and folklore serve to reinforce the snow lion status as a revered and respected mythical creature, highlighting its qualities of protection, guidance, and assistance in times of hardship. The Role of Snow Lions in Tibetan Buddhism Tibetan Buddhism, deeply rooted in the cultural fabric of Tibet, incorporates the symbolism of the snow lion into its religious practices and beliefs. In Tibetan Buddhist iconography, the snow lion is one of the four dignities, along with the Garuda, dragon, and tiger. These dignities represent the qualities and attributes necessary for the spiritual journey towards enlightenment. The snow lion is associated with the dignity of fearlessness. It symbolizes the courage to face and overcome obstacles on the path to liberation. The snow lion's fearless nature inspires practitioners to confront their fears, doubts, and inner challenges, 
fostering the development of inner strength and resilience. Furthermore, the snow lion is often depicted alongside the mythical bird Garuda, representing the harmonious union of wisdom and compassion. This union signifies the integration of transformative insight, wisdom, and compassionate action, compassion, as essential components of the spiritual journey. In Tibetan Buddhist rituals and ceremonies, images of snow lions are commonly used as auspicious symbols to invoke blessings and protection. They are intricately carved or painted on prayer flags, thankas, scroll paintings, and architectural structures such as monasteries and temples. The presence of snow lion imagery serves as a reminder of the qualities and virtues one should strive to cultivate on the path to enlightenment. Snow Lion in Art and Architecture The snow lion's significance extends beyond mythology and religion, permeating Tibetan art and architecture. In traditional Tibetan art, the snow lion is a popular subject, depicted in various forms such as paintings, sculptures, and textiles. Artists skillfully capture the majestic and powerful presence of the snow lion, often incorporating intricate details and vibrant colors to convey its celestial nature. In Tibetan architecture, the snow lion is prominently featured in the design and ornamentation of temples, monasteries, and palaces. Stone carvings of snow lions can be found adorning the entrances and pillars of these structures, symbolizing protection and auspiciousness. The snow lion's presence in architectural elements serves to create a sacred and spiritually charged atmosphere for practitioners and visitors alike. Modern Interpretations and Popularity In recent times, the snow lion has gained recognition and popularity beyond the borders of Tibet. Its symbolism and qualities resonate with people seeking inspiration, strength, and a connection to the spiritual realm. The snow lion has become a subject of interest in various forms of media, including literature, films, and artwork. Furthermore, the snow lion's image has been adopted as a symbol of Tibetan identity and resistance. In the face of political challenges and cultural oppression, Tibetans have embraced the snow lion as a symbol of their rich heritage, resilience, and determination to preserve their cultural traditions. Trolls Trolls, beings of ancient folklore, have captivated the human imagination for centuries. These mythological creatures have been depicted in various forms across different cultures and have fascinated storytellers, artists, and scholars alike. Origins and Evolution of Troll Mythology Prehistoric Origins The roots of troll mythology stretch back to prehistoric times when early humans grappled with the mysteries of the natural world. In this section, we will examine the potential origins of troll mythology, including the influence of geological formations, primal fears, and encounters with large, intimidating animals. Norse Mythology and the Jotnar One of the most influential sources of troll mythology can be found in Norse mythology. Here, we encounter the Jotnar, a race of powerful and often malevolent giants. We will explore the complex relationship between trolls and Jotnar and their significance within the Norse pantheon. Scandinavian Folklore Scandinavian folklore offers a rich tapestry of troll mythology, where trolls inhabit the rugged landscapes and dense forests. We will delve into the various types of trolls found in Scandinavian folklore, such as mountain trolls, forest trolls, and water trolls, and the roles they play in the narratives. Global Variations and Influences While trolls are most commonly associated with Scandinavian folklore, Variations of these creatures can be found in other cultures worldwide. We will explore the influence of troll mythology beyond Scandinavia, examining examples from different regions, including Europe, Asia, and the Americas. Characteristics and Physical Attributes of Trolls Physical Appearance Trolls are often depicted as large, brutish creatures, 
but their appearances can vary significantly across different traditions. We will examine the diverse physical attributes attributed to trolls, including their size, strength, and distinctive features. Strength and Resilience Trolls are renowned for their immense physical strength and resilience. We will explore the legends and tales that showcase their extraordinary power, such as their ability to lift enormous boulders and withstand formidable attacks. Regenerative Abilities A unique characteristic often associated with trolls is their regenerative abilities. We will delve into the folklore that describes trolls' ability to heal quickly from wounds and even regenerate lost body parts. Magical and Supernatural Attributes Trolls are often associated with magical and supernatural powers. We will explore the folklore surrounding trolls' abilities to shapeshift, cast spells, and manipulate the natural elements, further enhancing their formidable nature. Trolls in Folklore and Literature Trolls as Bridge Guardians One of the most iconic roles attributed to trolls in folklore is that of bridge guardians. We will examine the stories and superstitions surrounding trolls who dwell beneath bridges, posing challenges and riddles to those who dare to cross. Trolls as Cave Dwellers Caves are another common setting where trolls are belly of Edto reside. We will explore the narratives that depict trolls as cave dwellers, guarding hidden treasures, or posing threats to unsuspecting travelers. Trolls in fairy tales and children's literature. Trolls have played significant roles in fairy tales and children's literature, often serving as formidable adversaries or intriguing characters. We will explore famous examples, such as Three Billy Goats Gruff and The Hobbit, and analyze the symbolism and moral lessons associated with trolls in these narratives. Trolls in Tolkien's Middle-earth J.R.R. Tolkien's Middle-earth mythology introduced trolls to a wider audience. We will delve into Tolkien's portrayal of trolls, their origins, and their encounters with characters such as Bilbo Baggins and the Fellowship of the Ring. Trolls in Contemporary Fantasy Literature Trolls continue to be a popular presence in contemporary fantasy literature. We will explore how authors have reimagined trolls, incorporating them into modern narratives and expanding their roles and characteristics. Trolls in popular culture. Trolls in film and television. Trolls have made their mark in the world of film and television, captivating audiences with their unique appearances and personalities. We will trace the evolution of trolls in popular culture, from classic films such as Troll Hunter to animated franchises like Frozen and Trolls. Trolls in Video Games Video games provide an interactive platform where trolls have become iconic creatures. We will explore the portrayal of trolls in various gaming franchises, including their roles as enemies, allies, or playable characters. Trolls in Internet Culture and Memes The rise of internet culture has given trolls a new dimension. We will examine how trolls have been adapted and transformed within online communities, as well as their role in internet memes and humor. Psychological and Sociocultural Significance of Trolls Symbolism and Archetypes Trolls often embody powerful archetypal symbols within human consciousness. We will explore the psychological significance of trolls, their representation of the shadow self, and their role in individuation processes. Trolls as representations of the wild and unruly. Trolls are frequently associated with the untamed forces of nature and the wild. We will delve into the symbolic meanings of trolls as representatives of the unpredictable and primal aspects of existence. Trolls as Moral Lessons and Warnings Troll narratives often carry moral lessons and warnings, cautioning against greed, arrogance, and the dangers of straying from the designated path. We will analyze the ethical dimensions of troll mythology and their relevance to human behavior and societal norms. 
trolls as cultural icons and tourist attractions. In some regions, trolls have become cultural icons and tourist attractions. We will examine how communities have embraced troll mythology, incorporating it into local traditions, art, and tourism, and the impact of these representations on identity and economy. Yali Yali is considered one of the oldest mythical creatures in existence, and its legends have been passed down through generations, transcending time and leaving an indelible mark on the tapestry of mythology. Origins and Cultural Background Etymology and Linguistic Roots The term Yali finds its etymological roots in the Tamil language, spoken predominantly in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu and other regions of South India. The word Yali is derived from the Tamil term Yal, which translates to a mythical creature or a lion-like beast. The name itself reflects the physical attributes and characteristics associated with the creature. Cultural Significance in South India Yali holds immense cultural significance in South India, particularly in the Dravidian culture and architecture. The creature is often depicted in sculptures, carvings, and reliefs found in ancient temples, palaces, and other architectural marvels of the region. Yali's presence in these structures not only serves as a testament to the intricate craftsmanship of the artisans, but also imparts a spiritual and protective aura to the surroundings. Physical Characteristics of Yali Composite Creature Yali is typically portrayed as a composite creature, combining the features of various animals. It is commonly depicted as a lion or lioness with a long, sinuous body resembling a serpent or a dragon. The creature possesses multiple legs, often resembling those of an elephant, and it may have wings akin to those of a bird. The amalgamation of these diverse animal attributes contributes to Yali's distinct appearance and mythical allure. Symbolism of Physical Attributes Lion The lion, regarded as the king of beasts, represents strength, power, and nobility. Yali's leonine features symbolize its regal and commanding presence, often associated with guardianship and protection. Serpent slash dragon. The serpentine or dragon-like body of Yali signifies wisdom, eternity, and transcendence. It alludes to the creature's connection with the spiritual realm and its ability to traverse realms beyond the mortal plane. Elephant legs. The inclusion of elephant-like legs accentuates Yali's stability, grounding it to the earthly realm. Elephants are revered for their strength and steadfastness, implying Yali's role as a guardian and protector of sacred spaces. Wings The presence of wings on Yali signifies its ability to soar above mundane matters and traverse realms beyond the physical. Wings represent freedom, transcendence, in the connection between the mortal and the divine. Symbolism and Representations Protective Guardian One of the central roles attributed to Yali is that of a protective guardian. Yali's imposing presence and fierce countenance are believed to ward off evil spirits, malevolent forces, and negative energies from sacred spaces such as temples, palaces, and other spiritually significant locations. Its role as a guardian aligns with the belief that Yali possesses the power to avert misfortune and safeguard the sanctity of these spaces. Spiritual and Mythical Significance Transcendence and Cosmic Harmony Yali's composite nature and its ability to traverse various realms symbolize the idea of transcendence and the pursuit of spiritual enlightenment. The creature embodies the concept of cosmic harmony bridging the gap between the mortal and divine worlds. Balance and Duality Yali's combination of animal attributes represents the duality and equilibrium of opposing forces. The lion and the serpent, for instance, embody strength and wisdom, respectively. 
Yali's synthesis of these attributes conveys the importance of balancing different aspects of existence to achieve harmony, transformation, and evolution. The inclusion of wings in Yali's depiction accentuates its transformative nature and its association with growth and evolution. Yali serves as a reminder that change is inherent in life and encourages individuals to embrace transformation in their spiritual journey. Yali in South Indian Art and Architecture Temple Architecture Yali's presence in South Indian temple architecture is ubiquitous. The creature is often depicted as a prominent sculptural element in the form of magnificent pillars, lintels, and gateways. These ornate sculptures serve both an aesthetic purpose and a symbolic one, signifying the protective and divine nature of the temple. Carvings and Reliefs Yali's depiction can also be found in intricate carvings and reliefs adorning the walls and ceilings of temples. These artistic representations showcase the creature's dynamic and captivating form, further emphasizing its role as a guardian and protector of sacred spaces. Yali's presence in these architectural marvels reinforces the spiritual significance of the temple and instills a sense of awe and reverence in worshipers. Symbolic Meanings in Architecture Threshold Guardians Yali's placement at the entrance of temples and other sacred structures serves as a symbolic threshold guardian. It delineates the boundary between the profane and the sacred, signifying the transition from the mundane world to the realm of the divine. Yali's presence acts as a protective barrier, preventing any malevolent forces from entering the sacred space. Architectural Stability Yali's inclusion in architectural elements such as pillars and lintels also serves a practical purpose. Its elephant-like legs symbolize stability and strength, providing structural support to the edifice. Yali's representation thus embodies the fusion of aesthetics and functionality in South Indian temple architecture. Mythologies and Cultures Influence on Southeast Asian Mythology Yali's influence extends beyond South India and permeates the mythologies of Southeast Asian countries such as Indonesia and Cambodia. In these regions, Yali is known by different names but retains its composite nature and protective symbolism. The creature's prevalence in these mythologies highlights its enduring legacy and cross-cultural significance. Yali in Hindu Mythology In Hindu mythology, Yali finds its place in various narratives and religious contexts. It is often associated with deities such as Lord Vishnu, Lord Shiva, and Goddess Durga, symbolizing their divine might and protective attributes. Yali's presence in Hindu mythology further solidifies its connection to spiritual realms and its role as a guardian figure in the cosmic order. Yali in Folklore and Oral Traditions Yali's legends and tales have been preserved and passed down through generations in the form of folklore and oral traditions. These stories recount the creature's heroic feats, its interactions with humans, and its role in shaping the cultural and spiritual landscapes of South India. Yali's inclusion in these narratives reflects its enduring popularity and its integration into the collective consciousness of the people. Yali's Contemporary Significance Art and Aesthetics Yali continues to inspire contemporary artists and craftsmen who incorporate its imagery into various art forms such as paintings, sculptures, and jewelry. The creature's captivating form and symbolic significance make it a compelling subject for artistic expression, bridging the gap between tradition and modernity. Cultural Identity and Heritage Yali's presence in South Indian culture serves as a reminder of the region's rich heritage and cultural identity. The creature's depiction in temples and architectural marvels reinforces the connection between past and present, fostering a sense of pride and belonging among the people. Spiritual and Symbolic Significance 
Yali's symbolic attributes continue to resonate with individuals seeking spiritual enlightenment and personal growth. Its representation as a guardian and protector inspires a sense of security and reassurance, while its composite nature symbolizes the integration of diverse aspects of the self in the pursuit of wholeness. The Basilisk The Basilisk, often portrayed as a serpent rooster-like creature with deadly powers, the Basilisk has a rich and intriguing history that spans millennia, origins, and early depictions. To understand the Basilisk's place in mythology, we must first explore its origins. The concept of a creature possessing a lethal gaze can be traced back to ancient civilizations such as Mesopotamia, Egypt, and Greece. In Mesopotamian mythology, the figure of Humbaba, a monstrous guardian of the cedar forest, had an intimidating gaze that could paralyze anyone who looked into his eyes. Similarly, the Gorgons of Greek mythology, Medusa being the most famous among them, possessed a petrifying gaze that turned those who met their eyes to stone. The basilisk as we know it today, however, finds its roots in ancient Roman and Greek mythology. The term basilisk is derived from the Greek word basiliskos, meaning little king or kinglet. In Greek mythology, the basilisk was said to be the offspring of two notorious monsters, the serpent-like creature Typhon and the half-woman, half-serpent Echidna. This lineage bestowed upon the basilisk a fearsome nature and extraordinary powers. Early depictions of the basilisk varied across different cultures. In Greek and Roman mythology, it was often portrayed as a serpent or reptile with a crown-like crest on its head, symbolizing its royal lineage. It had the ability to breathe fire or venom and possessed a deadly gaze that could cause death or petrification. These early representations laid the foundation for the basilisk's subsequent appearances in folklore and literature. Legendary Characteristics The basilisk's defining characteristics have endured throughout history, though they have occasionally evolved or been interpreted differently across cultures and time periods. Here, we explore the legendary traits commonly associated with the basilisk, serpent or reptilian form. The basilisk is typically depicted as a serpent or reptile, often with a long body, scaly skin, and a crown-like crest on its head. Its appearance varies, ranging from a small snake to a creature of considerable size. Deadly Gaze One of the most iconic attributes of the basilisk is its lethal gaze. Merely making eye contact with the creature is believed to bring death or petrification to its victim. This power is often portrayed as a supernatural force that emanates from the basilisk's eyes. Venomous or Fiery Breath Another common characteristic associated with the basilisk is its ability to breathe venom or fire. This deadly breath can either poison its victims or engulf them in flames, ensuring their demise. Immense Strength The basilisk is often described as possessing immense strength, capable of overpowering its adversaries with ease. Its serpentine body and powerful muscles grant it a fearsome physical prowess indestructibility, and regeneration. In some legends, the basilisk is said to be virtually indestructible. Its blood is believed to be toxic, capable of killing instantly or corroding anything it touches. However, there are also accounts of the basilisk's ability to regenerate from injuries, making it a formidable and resilient opponent. Cultural Significance Throughout history, the basilisk has held significant cultural and symbolic meaning in various civilizations. Its presence can be found in literature, religious beliefs, heraldry, and even scientific discourse. Let us explore some notable examples. Mythology and Literature The basilisk has featured prominently in ancient mythology and medieval literature. For instance, in Roman mythology, it was believed that the basilisk stare could cause plants to wither and stones to crack. This notion influenced writers such as Pliny the Elder, who detailed the basilisk's powers in his work, Natural History. In medieval bestiaries and epic poems like 
Orlando Furioso. The Basilisk often appeared as a formidable adversary that heroes must overcome. Religious Symbolism The Basilisk's association with serpents and reptiles, creatures often linked to evil or chaos, led to its inclusion in religious iconography. In Christian symbolism, the Basilisk came to represent Satan, or the devil's influence over humanity. Its deadly gaze and venomous nature served as metaphors for the corrupting power of sin, heraldry, and emblems. The basilisk also found a place in heraldry where it became a popular emblem. Its regal appearance and fearsome reputation made it an ideal symbol for power and protection. It often appeared on crests, shields, and coats of arms, representing the noble lineage and strength of the families or organizations it represented. Scientific Discourse The basilisk's influence extended beyond mythology and literature, even finding its way into scientific discourse. In the past, naturalists and scholars sought to explain the existence of mythical creatures through scientific lenses. The basilisk became a subject of curiosity and speculation, with discussions revolving around its supposed existence, physiology, and the possibility of finding real-life counterparts in the natural world. Legends and Folklore Legends and folklore surrounding the basilisk have captivated people for centuries. These tales often portrayed the creature as a formidable and dangerous foe, threatening communities and individuals. Here, we explore a few notable stories. The Basilisk of Warsaw One of the most famous basilisk legends comes from Warsaw, Poland. According to the story, a fearsome basilisk inhabited the underground chambers of a castle. Its deadly gaze caused havoc and terror in the city until a young cobbler named Scuba devised a plan to vanquish the creature. By using a mirror to reflect the basilisk's gaze back upon itself, Scuba succeeded in slaying the monster, freeing the city from its grip. The Cockatrice A creature closely related to the basilisk is the cockatrice. In English folklore, it was believed to be hatched from a cock's egg incubated by a toad or serpent. The cockatrice inherited the basilisk's petrifying gaze and venomous nature. Numerous tales described heroes venturing into perilous quests to slay the cockatrice and save their communities from its destructive powers. The Basilisk in Harry Potter The Basilisk gained renewed popularity in J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series. In Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, the Basilisk is depicted as a gigantic serpent that resides in the Chamber of Secrets beneath Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. It is released by the heir of Slytherin to purge the school of impure wizards and witches. Harry Potter ultimately confronts and defeats the Basilisk, showcasing the creature's enduring presence in contemporary literature and popular culture. Modern Adaptations and Pop Culture The Basilisk's allure and mystique have continued to captivate audiences in modern times. Its appearance in various forms of media has solidified its status as a legendary creature deeply ingrained in popular culture. Here are a few examples. Video Games The Basilisk has made appearances in numerous video games, often as formidable boss battles or iconic creatures. Games like Dark Souls, The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt, and Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim, feature encounters with basilisks, challenging players to overcome their deadly abilities. Film and Television The Basilisk has made its mark on the silver screen as well. In the film adaptation of J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, the basilisk is brought to life in a menacing and visually stunning portrayal. It has also appeared in television shows such as Supernatural and Grimm, further cementing its presence in the realm of fantasy and mythology. Literary Works The basilisk continues to inspire authors and storytellers. It often appears in modern fantasy literature, either as a central antagonist or a creature of mythical significance. Authors like George R. R. Martin, Terry Pratchett, and Rick Reardon have all incorporated the basilisk into their respective fictional worlds, adding new layers to its enduring mythology. The Yeti The Yeti, 
also known as the Abominable Snowman, is one of the most enduring and captivating creatures in mythology. This ancient and elusive creature has been a subject of fascination for centuries, captivating the imaginations of people around the world. The Yeti has become synonymous with mystery, adventure, and the unknown. While its existence remains unverified, the legends and stories surrounding this elusive creature continue to fascinate believers and skeptics alike. Purpose and Scope of the Study The primary aim of this study is to examine the Yeti as the oldest mythical creature in mythology. By exploring ancient folklore, cultural beliefs, historical accounts, and scientific perspectives, we seek to unravel the origins, legends, and enduring significance of the Yeti. Through a comprehensive analysis, we hope to shed light on the profound influence this legendary creature has had on human imagination and cultural narratives. The Yeti in Ancient Mythology The Origins of the Yeti To understand the Yeti's place in mythology, we must delve into its ancient origins. Tracing back to the myths and legends of ancient Himalayan cultures, we explore the early conceptualizations of the Yeti and its significance in the spiritual and cultural traditions of these societies. Early Depictions and Descriptions Examining ancient texts, oral traditions, and artistic representations, we uncover the diverse ways in which the Yeti was portrayed in ancient mythology. From fearsome creatures to benevolent protectors, the Yeti assumed various roles and meanings in different cultural contexts. Cultural Significance in Ancient Societies By delving into the cultural beliefs and rituals surrounding the Yeti, we aim to understand its role in ancient societies. We examine how the Yeti shaped religious practices, influenced social structures, and contributed to the collective imagination of these civilizations. Legends and Folklore Surrounding the Yeti Yeti in Himalayan folklore The Yeti's presence in Himalayan folklore is deeply rooted in the region's rich oral traditions and cultural beliefs. We explore the captivating stories, legends, and folktales that have been passed down through generations, shedding light on the Yeti's role as a mythical and supernatural being. The Yeti in Tibetan Buddhism Tibetan Buddhism holds a significant place in the Yeti's mythology. We delve into the religious texts and teachings that mention the Yeti, exploring its symbolic and spiritual meanings within the context of Tibetan Buddhism. Connections to Other Mythical Creatures Drawing parallels between the Yeti and other mythical creatures from different mythologies, we examine the interconnectedness of these legends and explore the universal themes and archetypes they embody. Western Perception and Exploration of the Yeti early Western encounters and expeditions. We trace the first encounters of Western explorers and mountaineers with the Yeti during the colonial period. Examining their accounts and expeditions, we uncover the impact these early encounters had on shaping the Western perception of the Yeti. Influence on popular culture. From literature to cinema, the Yeti has left an indelible mark on popular culture. We explore how the Yeti became a recurring character in various forms of entertainment, analyzing its portrayal and the influence it has had on shaping public perception. Scientific Interest and Skepticism The scientific community has been divided in its opinions regarding the existence of the Yeti. We delve into the debates, investigations, and scientific perspectives surrounding the Yeti, examining the methods used to study and evaluate its alleged existence. Yeti Sightings and Expeditions Notable Yeti Sightings Throughout History We compile a comprehensive list of notable Yeti sightings, ranging from ancient times to the present day. By analyzing eyewitness accounts and testimonies, we aim to identify patterns, similarities, and differences in these encounters. Expeditions and Scientific Investigations Numerous expeditions have been undertaken to search for evidence of the Yeti's existence. We examine these expeditions, their methodologies, and the scientific investigations conducted in search of physical proof or conclusive findings. Cryptozoology and the Search for Physical Evidence Cryptozoology, 
the study of hidden or unknown animals has played a significant role in the pursuit of the Yeti. We explore the methodologies and approaches employed by cryptozoologists in their quest to uncover evidence of the Yeti's existence. Cultural Significance and Symbolism Yeti in Art, Literature, and Film The Yeti's allure has inspired countless artists, writers, and filmmakers. We analyze the representation of the Yeti in various creative mediums, examining the symbolic significance attributed to this mythical creature. Religious and Spiritual Interpretations Beyond folklore, the Yeti holds spiritual and religious significance in certain cultures. We explore the religious and spiritual interpretations associated with the Yeti, examining how it is connected to broader belief systems and practices, symbolic representations, and meanings. Delving into the symbolic meanings attributed to the Yeti, we uncover the deeper layers of interpretation and analyze the archetypal significance it holds across different cultures and mythological frameworks. Scientific Perspectives and Explanations Cryptozoology and the Study of Unknown Species We delve deeper into the field of cryptozoology, exploring its methodologies, theories, and the scientific framework used to study creatures like the Yeti. We also examine other examples of hidden or elusive animals that have been discovered in recent times. Mythological and Psychological Interpretations Taking a multidisciplinary approach, we analyze the Yeti from mythological and psychological perspectives. We explore the psychological underpinnings of human belief in mythical creatures and examine how the Yeti fits into the broader mythological landscape. Environmental and Ecological Considerations The Yeti's existence, if proven, would have significant implications for our understanding of the natural world. We explore the environmental and ecological factors that could potentially support the existence of such a creature in the harsh Himalayan landscape. The Yeti in the Modern World Tourism and Economic Impact The allure of the Yeti has led to the development of Yeti-themed tourism in certain regions. We explore how the mythical creature has become an economic asset attracting tourists and shaping local economies, conservation efforts, and environmental awareness. The Yeti's legend has indirectly contributed to conservation efforts and environmental awareness in the Himalayan region. We examine the initiatives taken to protect the fragile ecosystem and the role the Yeti's mythology has played in promoting environmental consciousness. The Sphinx. Among these creatures, the Sphinx stands out as one of the oldest and most enigmatic. Originating in ancient Egypt, the Sphinx has captured the imagination of countless generations with its mysterious presence and symbolic power. Origins of the Sphinx The origins of the Sphinx can be traced back to ancient Egypt, where it first appeared in the form of a lion with a human head. The earliest known depiction of the Sphinx dates back to the early dynastic period, circa 3100 to 2686 BCE, during the reign of King Jadefra of the Old Kingdom. This Sphinx, known as the Great Sphinx of Giza, is located on the Giza Plateau near the ancient city of Memphis and is believed to have been built during the reign of Pharaoh Khafre, circa 2558 to 2532 BCE. The Great Sphinx of Giza is a monumental statue carved out of limestone, depicting a creature with the body of a lion and the head of a human. Its exact purpose and significance in ancient Egyptian religion and culture remain a subject of debate among scholars. Some theories suggest that it was intended to guard the pyramids and tombs of the pharaohs, while others propose that it had a symbolic or ritualistic function. The association of the Sphinx with kingship and divine authority is evident in its prominent placement near the pyramids, which were monumental structures built as tombs for the pharaohs. The Sphinx's human head is often interpreted as a representation of the pharaoh, embodying the divine aspect of kingship in Egyptian mythology. As Egypt's civilization flourished, so too did the mythological significance of the Sphinx. It became associated with various gods and goddesses, including the sun god Are and the goddess Sekhmet. 
both of whom were depicted with leonine features. The Sphinx's role as a guardian figure and symbol of protection further solidified its place in Egyptian religious iconography. Depictions of the Sphinx in Mythology In addition to its association with Egyptian mythology, the Sphinx also appears in the mythologies of other ancient cultures, including Greek, Mesopotamian, and Hindu traditions. While the characteristics and significance of the Sphinx vary across different cultures, certain themes and motifs are shared among them. In Greek mythology, the Sphinx is depicted as a female creature with the body of a lion, the wings of a bird, and the head of a human. According to the myth of Oedipus, the Sphinx was sent by the gods to terrorize the city of Thebes, posing a riddle to anyone who wished to enter. The riddle, famously known as the Riddle of the Sphinx, asked, What walks on four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three legs in the evening? Oedipus, the legendary hero of Thebes, correctly answered the riddle by stating that it was a human who crawls on all fours as a baby, walks on two legs as an adult, and uses a cane in old age. Enraged by his defeat, the Sphinx threw herself off a cliff to her death, freeing the city from her reign of terror. In Mesopotamian mythology, the Sphinx appears as a protective deity known as the Lamassu, or Shidu. These winged lion figures were often depicted as guardian spirits that adorn the entrances to temples and palaces, warding off evil spirits and protecting the inhabitants within. The Lamassu symbolized strength, power, and divine protection, serving as a potent symbol of kingship and authority. In Hindu mythology, the Sphinx is associated with the goddess Narasimha, who takes the form of a half-man, half-lion creature. Narasimha is a fierce and formidable deity who is worshipped as the protector of devotees and the destroyer of evil forces. As a symbol of divine justice and righteousness, Narasimha embodies the dual nature of human and animal traits, reflecting the complex interplay of forces in the natural world. Symbolism and Meaning The Sphinx embodies a rich tapestry of symbolism and meaning that has captivated the human imagination for millennia. As a hybrid creature with the body of a lion and the head of a human, the Sphinx represents the union of animal instincts and human intellect, bridging the gap between the physical and spiritual realms. One of the central themes associated with the Sphinx is that of guardianship and protection. In ancient Egypt, the Sphinx was often depicted as a guardian figure that protected sacred sites and royal tombs from malevolent forces. Its imposing presence and enigmatic gaze served as a deterrent to those who would desecrate or defile the sanctity of these sacred spaces. The Sphinx also symbolizes wisdom and knowledge, as exemplified by the famous Riddle of the Sphinx in Greek mythology. The riddle challenges the intellect and ingenuity of those who seek to solve it, requiring them to think critically and creatively in order to uncover its hidden meaning. In this sense, the Sphinx serves as a metaphor for the pursuit of knowledge and the quest for enlightenment, challenging individuals to look beyond the surface and delve deeper into the mysteries of existence. Furthermore, the Sphinx embodies the concept of duality and paradox, reflecting the inherent contradictions and complexities of the human experience. By combining the attributes of a lion and a human, the Sphinx blurs the boundaries between the natural and the supernatural, the instinctual and the rational, the material and the spiritual. This dual nature of the Sphinx mirrors the dualities inherent in human nature, reminding us of the interplay between light and darkness, order and chaos, life and death. The Sphinx's association with kingship and divine authority further underscores its symbolic significance. In ancient Egypt, the Sphinx was often depicted alongside pharaohs and other royal figures, serving as a symbol of their power and legitimacy. Its imposing stature and regal demeanor conveyed a sense of majesty and authority, reinforcing the divine right of kings to rule over their subjects. The Sphinx in Literature and Culture the Sphinx has left an indelible mark on literature, art, and popular culture throughout history, inspiring countless works of fiction, poetry, and visual art. 
From ancient mythology to modern-day storytelling, the Sphinx continues to fascinate and intrigue audiences with its enigmatic presence and timeless appeal. In literature, the Sphinx has been a popular subject for writers and poets seeking to explore themes of fate, destiny, and existential angst. In addition to its appearance in Greek mythology, the Sphinx appears in numerous works of classical literature, including the plays of Sophocles and Euripides, where it serves as a symbol of divine judgment and moral reckoning. In modern literature, the Sphinx has been reimagined in various forms, from the monstrous creature of horror fiction to the wise and enigmatic guardian of hidden knowledge. Authors such as Edgar Allan Poe, H.B. Lovecraft, and Neil Gaiman have all drawn inspiration from the Sphinx in their works, weaving its mythical allure into tales of mystery, suspense, and existential dread. In art, the Sphinx has been a popular subject for painters, sculptors, and other visual artists throughout history. From ancient Egyptian reliefs to Renaissance masterpieces, the Sphinx has been depicted in a variety of styles and mediums, reflecting the evolving cultural and artistic sensibilities of different time periods. Artists such as Gustav Moreau, Fernand Knopf, and Salvador Dali have all produced iconic representations of the Sphinx, imbuing it with their own unique interpretations and aesthetic sensibilities. In popular culture, the Sphinx has become a ubiquitous symbol, appearing in films, television shows, video games, and other forms of media. From its iconic portrayal in classic Hollywood movies such as The Ten Commandments and The Neverending Story, to its appearances in contemporary blockbusters like The Mummy and Indiana Jones, the Sphinx continues to captivate audiences with its mystique and allure. The Riddle of the Sphinx One of the most enduring aspects of the Sphinx is the famous Riddle of the Sphinx from Greek mythology. The Riddle, which challenges individuals to solve a seemingly impossible puzzle, has become a metaphor for the enigmatic nature of existence and the quest for self-knowledge. The riddle of the Sphinx poses the question, what walks on four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three legs in the evening? The answer, as famously provided by Oedipus, is man, who crawls on all fours as a baby, walks on two legs as an adult, and uses a cane in old age. By correctly answering the riddle, Oedipus not only frees the city of Thebes from the tyranny of the Sphinx, but also fulfills his destiny as the tragic hero of the story. The riddle of the Sphinx has been interpreted in various ways by scholars, philosophers, and psychologists throughout history. Some see it as a metaphor for the passage of time and the stages of human life, from infancy to old age. Others view it as a test of intelligence and ingenuity, challenging individuals to think critically and creatively in order to uncover the hidden truth. Psychologically, the riddle of the Sphinx has been interpreted as a symbol of self-discovery and personal growth. Just as Oedipus must confront the truth of his own identity in order to solve the riddle, so too must individuals confront their own inner demons and existential dilemmas in order to find meaning and purpose in their lives. Psychological Interpretations The Sphinx has also been the subject of psychological interpretations, particularly in the fields of psychoanalysis and depth psychology. Sigmund Freud, the founder of psychoanalysis, saw the Sphinx as a symbol of the unconscious mind and the hidden forces that shape human behavior. According to Freud, the Sphinx represents the primal instincts and desires that lurk beneath the surface of conscious awareness, manifesting themselves in the form of irrational fears, desires, and impulses. Like the Sphinx's enigmatic gaze, the unconscious mind exerts a powerful influence on our thoughts, feelings, and actions, shaping the course of our lives in ways that we may not always understand or appreciate. Carl Jung the Swiss psychiatrist and founder of analytical psychology, offered a more nuanced interpretation of the Sphinx as a symbol of individuation and self-realization. According to Jung, the Sphinx represents the self, the archetype of wholeness and integration that lies at the heart of the human psyche. In Jungian psychology, 
The process of individuation involves the integration of the conscious and unconscious aspects of the psyche, leading to a greater sense of self-awareness and personal fulfillment. By confronting the Sphinx within ourselves, we come to terms with the shadow aspects of our personality and embrace the totality of who we are, warts and all. The Chupacabra The Chupacabra, also known as the Goat Sucker in Spanish, is a legendary creature purported to inhabit various regions of the Americas, particularly Latin America and the southwestern United States. Descriptions of the Chupacabra vary widely, but common characteristics include a reptilian or canine appearance, sharp fangs, glowing red eyes, and a penchant for sucking the blood of livestock, particularly goats and sheep. Reports of chupacabra attacks often involve the discovery of animals with puncture wounds to the neck and drained of blood, leading to widespread fear and speculation about the creature's origins and motives. Origins of the Chupacabra Ancient Mythological Roots The origins of the chupacabra can be traced back to ancient mythological traditions, where similar creatures were believed to inhabit the wilderness and prey on unsuspecting humans and animals. In cultures around the world, tales of monstrous beings with supernatural powers abound, reflecting humanity's primal fears and fascination with the unknown. From the Greek myth of the Chimera, a fire-breathing creature with the body of a lion, the head of a goat, and the tail of a serpent, to the Egyptian god Amit, a hybrid beast with the head of a crocodile, the body of a lion, and the hindquarters of a hippopotamus, Mythological creatures have long occupied a central place in human consciousness. Cultural Influences and Regional Variations The chupacabra, as it is known today, is a product of cultural synthesis, drawing upon a diverse array of influences from indigenous beliefs, European folklore, and contemporary urban legends. In Latin America, where the chupacabra is most commonly reported, Indigenous myths of shape-shifting spirits and bloodthirsty monsters intersect with Spanish colonial narratives of demonic entities and witchcraft. Similarly, in the southwestern United States, where sightings of the chupacabra have been reported since the 1990s, the creature has become enmeshed in a complex tapestry of cultural identities, blending elements of Mexican folklore, Native American legends, and modern conspiracy theories. The Evolution of Chupacabra Lore Early Accounts and Folklore The earliest known accounts of the Chupacabra date back to the late 20th century, with reports emerging from Puerto Rico in the mid-1990s. According to local residents, the Chupacabra was responsible for a series of mysterious animal deaths, leading to widespread panic and speculation about its origins. Descriptions of the creature varied widely, with some witnesses claiming it resembled a reptilian humanoid, while others described it as a hairless canine with bat-like wings. Despite the lack of physical evidence, the chupacabra quickly captured the public's imagination, spawning a flurry of newspaper articles, television documentaries, and eyewitness testimonies. Modern Sightings and Pop Culture Phenomenon In the years since its initial emergence, the legend of the Chupacabra has only grown in popularity, fueled by numerous sightings and alleged encounters reported across the Americas. From Mexico to Argentina, eyewitnesses claim to have seen the creature lurking in the shadows, stalking its prey under the cover of darkness. In the age of the internet, the Chupacabra has become a global phenomenon, inspiring countless memes, videos, and works of art that perpetuate its mythological status. Despite efforts by skeptics to debunk the legend, the chupacabra continues to exert a powerful hold on the human imagination, challenging our notions of reality and blurring the line between fact and fiction. Characteristics and Descriptions of the Chupacabra Physical Appearance Descriptions of the chupacabra vary widely, ranging from grotesque to fantastical, depending on the cultural context and individual perceptions of witnesses. Common features attributed to the creature include a bipedal stance, reptilian scales, sharp claws, and glowing red eyes that pierce the darkness. 
Some accounts describe the chupacabra as having bat-like wings or spines running down its back, while others depict it as a canine-like creature with elongated limbs and a pronounced snout. Despite these variations, certain characteristics remain consistent across different sightings, such as its ability to move stealthily and evade capture, leaving behind only traces of its presence. Behavior and Hunting Patterns The chupacabra is typically associated with nocturnal behavior, preying on livestock under the cover of darkness when its victims are most vulnerable. According to eyewitness reports, the creature employs stealth and cunning to ambush its prey, using its sharp claws and fangs to incapacitate and drain them of blood. While some believe the chupacabra feeds exclusively on goats and sheep, others claim it targets a wide range of animals, including chickens, rabbits, and even household pets. The exact motivations behind these attacks remain shrouded in mystery, with theories ranging from hunger and territoriality to supernatural vendettas and ritual sacrifices. The Chupacabra in Popular Culture Literary References and Folk Songs The legend of the Chupacabra has inspired numerous works of literature and music, ranging from cautionary tales to playful anecdotes that celebrate its mythical status. In Puerto Rico, where the Chupacabra first gained notoriety, Folk songs and poems recounting its exploits have become part of the island's cultural heritage, passed down through generations as a reminder of the dangers that lurk in the wilderness. Similarly, in Mexico and other Latin American countries, writers and musicians have incorporated the chupacabra into their creative works, exploring themes of fear, survival, and resilience in the face of supernatural threats. Film and Television Depictions the Chupacabra has also made its mark on the silver screen, appearing in a variety of films and television shows that capitalize on its mystique and allure. From low-budget horror flicks to big-budget blockbusters, filmmakers have sought to capture the terror and intrigue of the Chupacabra, depicting it as a relentless predator that strikes fear into the hearts of its victims. In recent years, the creature has become a staple of the cryptozoological genre, with documentaries and reality TV programs attempting to uncover the truth behind its legend. Despite the skepticism of critics, these portrayals have only served to fuel the public's fascination with the chupacabra, ensuring its place in popular culture for years to come. Explanations and Interpretations Cryptid or Misidentified Animal one of the most hotly debated questions surrounding the chupacabra is whether it represents a genuine cryptid species or simply a case of mistaken identity. Skeptics argue that many reported sightings can be attributed to known animals suffering from illness or malnutrition, such as coyotes with mange or feral dogs with genetic mutations. Furthermore, they point to the lack of concrete evidence, such as DNA samples or physical specimens, to support the existence of a new species of creature. However, proponents of the chupacabra hypothesis contend that eyewitness testimonies and circumstantial evidence cannot be dismissed outright, suggesting that the truth may lie somewhere between scientific skepticism and open-minded inquiry. Psychological and Sociocultural Perspectives From a psychological perspective, the legend of the chupacabra can be seen as a manifestation of deep-seated fears and anxieties about the unknown and uncontrollable forces of nature. In times of hardship and uncertainty, humans often turn to myth and folklore to make sense of their surroundings and cope with existential threats. The chupacabra, with its otherworldly appearance and insatiable appetite for blood, embodies these primal fears serving as a cautionary tale about the dangers of venturing into the wilderness unprepared. Similarly, from a sociocultural standpoint, the chupacabra can be interpreted as a symbol of resistance against colonialism and globalization, reclaiming indigenous narratives and asserting cultural sovereignty in the face of external pressures. Scientific Investigations and Skepticism Debunking Myths and Hoaxes Despite widespread belief in the existence of the chupacabra, scientific investigations have thus far failed to produce conclusive evidence to support its reality. 
In many cases, alleged sightings of the creature have been debunked as hoaxes or misidentifications of known animals, such as raccoons, mangy dogs, or exotic pets that have escaped captivity. Furthermore, the lack of physical evidence, such as carcasses or footprints, has led many researchers to question the veracity of eyewitness testimonies and anecdotal reports. While some remain hopeful that future discoveries may shed light on the mystery of the chupacabra, others are skeptical of its existence and view it as a product of cultural hysteria and mass delusion. Lack of Concrete Evidence Despite decades of speculation and intrigue, the chupacabra remains elusive, with no concrete evidence to confirm its existence as a distinct species of cryptid. While some researchers have proposed alternative explanations, such as viral outbreaks or environmental toxins causing mass animal deaths, these hypotheses have yet to be substantiated by empirical data. Furthermore, the absence of physical specimens or verifiable sightings has led many scientists to dismiss the chupacabra as a purely mythological creature, devoid of any basis in reality. Nevertheless, the persistence of the legend and its widespread cultural resonance continue to fuel interest in the search for answers, driving further scientific inquiry and exploration into the unknown. Cultural Significance and Symbolism Fear of the Unknown At its core, the legend of the Chupacabra speaks to humanity's primal fear of the unknown and the mysteries that lie beyond the boundaries of our understanding. In a world fraught with uncertainty and danger, mythical creatures like the Chupacabra serve as symbolic representations of the forces of nature that defy rational explanation and challenge our notions of control. By embodying these fears in the form of a monstrous beast, Folklore provides a means of confronting and grappling with the existential anxieties that plague the human psyche, offering solace and reassurance in the face of adversity. Representations of Power and Vulnerability The chupacabra also carries symbolic significance as a metaphor for power and vulnerability, embodying the dualities of strength and weakness inherent in the human condition. On one hand, the chupacabra is portrayed as a fearsome predator, capable of striking terror into the hearts of its victims and leaving behind a trail of destruction in its wake. On the other hand, it is depicted as a creature of myth and legend, vulnerable to the whims of fate and subject to the same forces of mortality that govern all living beings. In this sense, the chupacabra serves as a reminder of the fragility of life and the precarious balance between order and chaos that defines our existence. Mokle Mbembe Mokle Mbembe is often described as a large aquatic creature inhabiting the remote regions of the Congo River Basin in Central Africa. With its origins deeply rooted in the oral traditions of indigenous peoples, Mokle Mbembe has sparked the curiosity of explorers, adventurers, and cryptozoologists alike, leading to numerous expeditions and investigations aimed at unraveling the mysteries surrounding this elusive creature. Origins of Mokle Mbembe The origins of Mokle Mbembe can be traced back to the folklore and oral traditions of the indigenous peoples of Central Africa, particularly those inhabiting the regions surrounding the Congo River Basin. For centuries, these communities have shared tales of mysterious creatures dwelling in the depths of the dense jungles and winding waterways of their homeland. The name Mokalembembe itself is derived from the Lingala language, spoken in parts of the Democratic Republic of Congo, and roughly translates to one who stops the flow of rivers. This name reflects the creature's association with bodies of water and its purported ability to command the natural forces of its environment. The earliest recorded accounts of Mokelembembe can be found in the writings of European explorers and missionaries who ventured into the heart of Africa during the colonial era. These early encounters often depicted the creature as a fearsome beast, resembling a sauropod dinosaur with a long neck powerful limbs, and a large reptilian body. However, it is important to note that the concept of Mokelembembe predates the arrival of Europeans in Africa 
and indigenous traditions have long held their own interpretations of this legendary creature. In the oral folklore of various Central African tribes, Mokele Mbembe is often depicted as a spiritual guardian of the natural world, possessing supernatural abilities and playing a crucial role in maintaining the balance of the ecosystem. Descriptions and Characteristics Descriptions of Mokele Mbembe vary widely across different accounts and cultural interpretations, but several key characteristics are commonly associated with this mythical creature. Gigantic size, Mokele Mbembe is typically described as an enormous creature, with some accounts estimating its length to be anywhere from 20 to 50 feet or more. Its size is often compared to that of a large elephant or even a small whale, making it a formidable presence in the jungles and rivers of Central Africa. Long neck and serpentine body. One of the most iconic features of Mokalem Bembe is its long neck, which is often likened to that of a sauropod dinosaur, such as the Brachiosaurus or Diplodocus. This neck allows the creature to reach vegetation growing along the banks of rivers and lakes, as well as to navigate the murky depths of its aquatic habitat. Its body is typically described as serpentine or reptilian in nature, with scales or rough skin covering its massive frame. Powerful limbs and tail. Mokele Mbembe is said to possess powerful limbs and a muscular tail, which it uses to propel itself through the water and traverse the rugged terrain of the jungle. Some accounts describe the creature as having clawed feet or webbed appendages, allowing it to grasp onto rocks and vegetation as it moves. Serrated back and spikes. In certain depictions of Mokele Mbembe, the creature is described as having a serrated back, adorned with sharp spikes or ridges, these features are believed to serve as defensive mechanisms, deterring potential predators and adversaries from approaching too closely. Herbivorous diet. Despite its fearsome appearance, Mukelimbembe is commonly portrayed as a herbivore, feeding primarily on aquatic plants, ferns, and other vegetation found in its habitat. This dietary preference is consistent with the sauropod dinosaurs to which it is often compared, as these ancient reptiles were also herbivorous grazers. Elusive nature. Perhaps the most intriguing aspect of Mokalembembe is its elusive nature, with sightings and encounters occurring sporadically and often under mysterious circumstances. The creature is said to be exceedingly rare and difficult to locate, preferring remote and inaccessible regions far from human civilization. These characteristics paint a vivid picture of Mokelembembe as a formidable and enigmatic creature inhabiting the uncharted wilderness of Central Africa and defying attempts to capture or study it in depth. Encounters and Sightings the legend of Moklembembe has been perpetuated by numerous reported sightings and encounters dating back several centuries. While many of these accounts are anecdotal in nature and lack concrete evidence, they nevertheless contribute to the mystique and intrigue surrounding this mythical creature. One of the earliest documented encounters with Moklembembe occurred in the late 19th century when European explorers and missionaries began venturing into the interior regions of Africa in search of new territories and resources. These intrepid travelers often returned with tales of strange and wondrous creatures they had encountered in the depths of the jungle, including reports of a mysterious beast resembling a living dinosaur. One of the most famous accounts of Mokelembembe comes from the Belgian-French explorer, Lieutenant Paul Gratz, who claimed to have seen the creature during an expedition to the Congo River Basin in 1913. According to Gratz's testimony, he and his companions observed a large reptilian creature with a long neck and tail emerging from the waters of Lake Bangwulu. Despite their attempts to approach the creature for a closer look, 
it quickly disappeared into the depths, leaving behind only ripples on the surface of the lake. Since Gratz's encounter, numerous other sightings of Mokali Mbembe have been reported by explorers, missionaries, and indigenous peoples throughout the Congo Basin and beyond. These accounts often describe the creature as a massive dinosaur-like beast inhabiting remote swamps, rivers, and lakes, where it is said to roam freely and undisturbed by human activity. In addition to eyewitness reports, there have been several expeditions and investigations launched in an attempt to locate and document Mokel Mbembe. One of the most notable of these expeditions took place in the 1980s, when American cryptozoologist Roy McCall led a team of researchers into the jungles of Cameroon in search of the legendary creature. Although the expedition yielded no definitive evidence of Mokel Mbembe's existence, it nevertheless generated widespread interest and speculation among cryptozoologists and enthusiasts of the unknown. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, the legend of Mokel Mbembe continues to endure in the imaginations of people around the world, fueling ongoing debates and discussions about the existence of such a creature and its potential significance within the realm of cryptozoology and mythology. Cultural Significance The legend of Mokel Mbembe holds deep cultural significance for the indigenous peoples of Central Africa, who have passed down stories of the creature from generation to generation as part of their oral traditions. For these communities, Mokel Mbembe represents more than just a mythical beast. It embodies their spiritual connection to the natural world and serves as a symbol of the rich biodiversity and mystical qualities of the African wilderness. In many indigenous belief systems, Mokelembembe is revered as a guardian spirit of the rivers and forests, endowed with supernatural powers and wisdom beyond mortal comprehension. It is often depicted as a benevolent entity, protecting the land and its inhabitants from harm and ensuring the fertility and abundance of the natural environment. The legend of Mokil Mbembe also plays a significant role in shaping cultural identity and community cohesion among indigenous peoples, serving as a shared cultural heritage that unites different tribes and ethnic groups across the region. Through storytelling, music and ritual ceremonies, the legend of Mokel Mbembe continues to be celebrated and preserved as an integral part of Central African heritage. Furthermore, the cultural significance of Mokel Mbembe extends beyond the indigenous communities of Central Africa, capturing the imagination of people from diverse cultural backgrounds around the world. The creature has become a symbol of adventure and exploration, inspiring countless works of fiction, art and popular culture that seek to evoke the mystery and allure of the African wilderness. In recent years, Mokel Mbembe has gained further exposure through its portrayal in various forms of media, including films, television shows and video games. While these depictions often take artistic liberties and embellishments, they nevertheless contribute to the ongoing legacy of this legendary creature and its enduring impact on global popular culture. Scientific Perspectives While Mokel Mbembe remains firmly entrenched in the realm of mythology and folklore, its legend has also attracted the attention of scientists and researchers interested in exploring the potential basis for such a creature within the natural world. From a scientific perspective, the existence of a living dinosaur-like creature in the remote jungles of Central Africa is highly implausible given our current understanding of biology and paleontology. The sauropod dinosaurs to which Mokel Mbembe is often compared went extinct millions of years ago, and there is no credible evidence to suggest that any species of dinosaur survived into modern times. Furthermore, the ecological conditions of the Congo Basin are not conducive to supporting large reptilian creatures like those described in eyewitness accounts of Mokel Mbembe. Instead, 
scientists propose alternative explanations for the reported sightings and encounters attributed to Mokalem Bembe, including misidentifications of known animals, hoaxes, and cultural influences. Many of the descriptions provided by eyewitnesses closely resemble known species native to the region, such as the African elephant, hippopotamus, or various species of large reptiles and amphibians. Moreover, the prevalence of Mokalem Bembe sightings in areas with limited access and sparse human population makes it difficult to verify the accuracy of these accounts through systematic observation and documentation. Without tangible evidence, such as photographs, video footage, or physical specimens, it is challenging for scientists to substantiate claims of the creature's existence or conduct rigorous scientific investigations. Despite these challenges, some researchers remain open to the possibility that Mokalem Bembe may represent a previously undiscovered species or an evolutionary relic from prehistoric times. The vast and unexplored wilderness of the Congo Basin harbors countless mysteries and undiscovered species, leading some scientists to speculate that there may be unknown creatures waiting to be discovered in its remote depths. However, until conclusive evidence is obtained to support the existence of Mokalembembe or similar cryptids, the legend of this mythical creature will continue to occupy a nebulous space between science and folklore, captivating the imagination of believers and skeptics alike. Kraken. The Kraken is a legendary sea monster that has captured the imaginations of people for centuries. In this essay, we will explore the origins, physical description, folklore, and cultural significance of the Kraken, shedding light on its enduring place in mythology. Origins and cultural significance. The origins of the Kraken can be traced back to ancient seafaring cultures. Stories of giant sea creatures have emerged in the mythologies of different civilizations around the world. The earliest recorded accounts of a monstrous sea creature resembling the Kraken can be found in Nordic and Scandinavian folklore. In Old Norse, the word Kraken translates to an unhealthy animal or something twisted. It is believed to have originated from the Norwegian word Krake which means an unhealthy or twisted thing. The Kraken is deeply intertwined with the maritime traditions and beliefs of the Scandinavian people. In Norse mythology, the sea was viewed as a treacherous and mysterious realm inhabited by various creatures. The Kraken was often depicted as a colossal sea monster capable of causing havoc with its immense size and power. It was believed to dwell in the depths of the ocean emerging to attack ships and drag them beneath the waves. Physical Description The physical appearance of the Kraken has been described in various ways throughout history. In some accounts, it is depicted as a massive octopus or squid-like creature with multiple tentacles that could reach up to a mile in length. These tentacles were said to be incredibly strong and capable of crushing ships with ease. Other descriptions portray the Kraken as a gigantic fish-like creature with a serpentine body and enormous jaws filled with razor-sharp teeth. One particularly vivid description of the Kraken comes from the writings of the Swedish naturalist and author Erik Pontopidan in the 18th century. According to his account, the Kraken had a body so large that it could be mistaken for an island. Its back was covered in rough, mossy skin, and it had eyes the size of dinner plates. Pontopidan also claimed that the creature could create a whirlpool by sinking back into the depths, pulling down everything around it. Legends and Folklore The legends and folklore surrounding the Kraken provide insight into its significance in maritime cultures. Tales of the Kraken often served as cautionary tales for sailors, warning them of the dangers that awaited them at sea. The creature was believed to be responsible for the disappearance of numerous ships and the loss of countless lives. 
One popular story tells of a Norwegian bishop named Erik Pontopidan who encountered the Kraken during a voyage. According to the tale, the monstrous creature attacked his ship, but the bishop managed to escape by drawing a crucifix and invoking the power of God. This story highlights the belief that the Kraken was a demonic force that could only be defeated through divine intervention. Another famous account comes from the Icelandic saga Urvar Odds Saga. In this epic tale, the hero Urvar Odda and his crew encounter a massive sea monster that attacks their ship. They manage to escape by throwing meat overboard, distracting the creature and allowing them to sail away. This narrative reflects the perception of the Kraken as a ravenous predator driven by an insatiable hunger. The Kraken in literature and popular culture. The Kraken's influence extends beyond ancient folklore. It has made numerous appearances in literature, art and popular culture, solidifying its status as an enduring mythical creature. One of the most famous references to the Kraken can be found in Alfred Lord Tennyson's poem, The Kraken, published in 1830. Tennyson describes the creature as a massive, slumbering beast that lies at the bottom of the sea, waiting to be awakened. A significant portrayal of the Kraken in popular culture can be seen in the works of H.P. Lovecraft, the renowned American writer of weird and horror fiction. Lovecraft's stories often featured ancient and powerful beings from the depths of the ocean, and the influence of the Kraken can be felt in his creation of Cthulhu, a monstrous deity that shares many similarities with the legendary sea creature. The Kraken has also made appearances in modern films and television shows. It has become a staple of the fantasy genre, serving as a fearsome antagonist or a symbol of the untamed power of the sea. From the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise to Clash of the Titans, the Kraken has captivated audiences with its awe-inspiring presence and destructive capabilities. Interpretations and Symbolism The Kraken holds various interpretations and symbolic meanings across different cultures and time periods. In Norse mythology, it represented the chaotic and unpredictable forces of nature, reflecting the Vikings' deep respect and fear of the sea. The Kraken's immense size and power symbolized the uncontrollable and destructive aspects of the natural world. In a broader sense, the Kraken can be seen as a metaphor for the unknown and mysterious depths of the ocean. It embodies humanity's fascination with exploration and the desire to conquer the unknown. The Kraken's presence in stories and folklore also serves as a reminder of the dangers that lie beneath the surface, cautioning against arrogance and overconfidence. From a psychological perspective, the Kraken can symbolize the primal and subconscious aspects of the human psyche. It represents the deep-seated fears and desires that lurk within us, waiting to be unleashed. The Kraken's ability to drag ships down into the depths can be interpreted as a metaphor for the destructive power of unchecked emotions or hidden traumas. Thank you for watching this video from the beginning. I hope to see you soon. Thank you.